We know that sharks are ancient. We know that they're one of the apex predators in the world's oceans, and we know that their conservation is of the utmost importance. But something that isn't discussed nearly enough is the fact that some sharks are legitimately adorable. Like the cow shark. Right? But what is a cow shark? How many gills does a six gill shark have? And how many gills does a seven gill shark have? We'll find the answer to all those questions and more as we continue exploring the tree of life. Cow shark is the common name for any shark in the family Hexanchidae, considered to be one of, if not the most, ancient lineage of sharks still alive today. It's unclear exactly how they got the name cow shark, but it probably has something to do with the blotchy appearance of the broad-nosed seven-gill shark. Either that or the enormous udders. <coughs> family Hexanchidae includes five species, the blunt-nosed six-gill shark, the big-eyed six-gill shark, the Atlantic six-gill shark, the broad-nosed seven-gill shark, and the sharp-nosed seven-gill shark. At this point, I'm sure the question on everyone's mind is, what up with the gills? The gills of family Hexanchidae are unlike those of any other shark, by which I mean they have six or seven gill slits, while most sharks have five. But what's the purpose of having extra gill slits? I don't know. Nobody knows. And if nobody knows, I certainly don't know. What we do know is that cow sharks first appear in the fossil record during the Jurassic period, and they've gone through very few physical changes since then. This provides marine biologists with a living example of how prehistoric sharks looked, their ecology, and maybe even their behavior. Members of family Hexanchidae generally live between 700 and 1,000 meters below sea level with the exception of the broad-nosed seven-gill shark, which prefers shallow coastal waters. Naturally, this makes them the most commonly encountered species by divers and fishermen. Even so, according to the International Shark Attack file, the broad-nosed seven-gill shark has been responsible for only five unprovoked bites and zero fatalities since the 16th century. Cow sharks are opportunistic generalists feeding on a wide range of fishes, cephalopods, and crustaceans. Broad-nosed seven-gill sharks have even been recorded hunting in packs to take down large prey like marine mammals. But as is the case with every shark, humans are simply not on the menu. Because we're yucky. For species that do fall prey to a cow shark, they meet their end by way of some very bizarre teeth. Shark teeth can vary dramatically between species. Mako sharks have sharp, needle-like teeth to help them hold on to slippery fish and squid, while Port Jackson sharks have flattened, plate-like teeth used to crush the shells of crustaceans and mollusks. And whale sharks have tiny vestigial teeth that serve no purpose when feeding, since plankton generally doesn't require much chewing. In cow sharks, the upper jaw is made up of sharp, jagged teeth used for holding on to prey while the lower jaw is filled with comb-shaped, saw-like teeth for tearing into flesh and muscle. This combination allows them to firmly hold on to their prey while removing chunks one bite at a time. Having different shaped teeth on the upper and lower jaw is called dignathic heterodonty, and it's pretty common among sharks. In fact, sharks exhibit so many unique styles and combinations of teeth that marine biologists can usually identify sharks based only on their jaws. This is also how paleontologists connect extinct sharks to their modern ancestors, which is convenient because teeth are normally the only part of a shark's body that can become fossilized. Sharks have a lot of teeth in their mouth, but they have even more teeth covering every inch of their skin. They're called dermal denticles, literally meaning skin teeth. It would be disgusting if humans had this, but sharks make it look really cool. All sharks have dermal denticles, and they can be as unique in shape and style as the teeth in their jaws. Next week, we'll meet a shark whose dermal denticles are so conspicuous, they earned the name Bramble Shark, family Echinorhinidae. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, let me know in the comments down below. But if you didn't, shut up. 
Follow me on social media, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Until then, stay curious, stay connected, and never stop evolving.